In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to take a file, a spreadsheet that has been downloaded from someplace like Microsoft Outlook or Google Contacts or some other source and then prepare it for upload. Now, a lot of times when a file is downloaded as a spreadsheet, in this case it's a .csv file, you'll notice that the columns are kind of jumbled in terms of the information. Like here we see 109 West Randall Mill Road, Suite 102 Arlington going across multiple, what appears to go across multiple um, columns. Down here also you're going to notice that 5100 El Dorado Parkway, comma, Suite something. Commas have to be removed and empty columns, there's no sense in having them because they just confuse you and they confuse the upload process. So the first thing to do is to go to the upper left hand corner and click the box to highlight the entire spreadsheet. Then go over to Format and click Auto Fit Column Width. That will show the column width um, appropriate for each uh, data field. Now, we don't import middle names, so you can delete that column by highlighting it, right-clicking, and click Delete. That's what we're going to do with the columns that are not usable in the NetOffer CRM system. So we're going to do title, suffix, and I'm holding down the shift key to highlight multiple columns. And then I'm going to highlight those three columns and click delete. And we've now removed those three columns. Now I'm going to scroll to the right just a little bit. We have business street, but we don't actually keep business streets two and three, so we'll delete those. We have business city and state and postal code but we don't track a country region, so we'll delete that column. Now, we do have information in our system that you can collect about home street, but not home streets two and three, so we'll delete those. Now, as it turns out, as I look down, we see we do have a few um, addresses in the home section, so we won't delete those columns. So we're going to keep home street, city, state, and zip. We don't keep a field for home, country, region, other streets, other cities, states, so we'll delete those. And we don't have other state postal or zip code. We don't keep an assistance phone number, so we'll highlight those and we'll delete those. We do have a space for a business fax and a business phone, but we don't have business phones number two and so on, so we're going to get rid of the extra phone lines. We do allow the upload of a home phone, but not a second home phone and not an ISDN, so we'll do get rid of those. We do track a mobile phone, but we don't have an other fax, other phone pager, and all of these things, so we're just going to delete these columns. We don't track telex, account, anniversary dates, and assistance names and billing information, so we'll delete those. We do track birthdays if they have, so I'm going to scan down and see, yes, we have at least one birthday, a couple of birthdays in here that we have data fields for. So we're going to leave the birthday column. We're going to go ahead and get the business address P.O. box information and remove that. Um, delete that. We don't keep this information, so we delete that. Now, email type is not a field, and email display names are not used, and we don't keep track. We actually track two emails, a home and a business email, so we've, we've already got those identified. So I'm going to scroll over. So we don't keep multiple emails. We don't track gender. And we don't have, thing, we don't have data fields for government ID numbers and um, the rest of this. This all comes out of Microsoft Outlook. So I'm highlighting all of those. We do have a field for the web page. Delete. So that takes care of cleaning all of the data fields that um, exist. Now, what we want to do is we want to remove all of the, column, uh, the commas. So I'm going to highlight the entire database and I'm going to go up to the Find and Select, click Replace, I'm going to put a comma in, and then in the next line, a space. So what we're going to do is every time we see a comma, we're going to replace it with a space. I'm going to click Replace All, and it looks like 42 commas were replaced. That cleans the database of all commas. 
that's necessary before we upload it because if there's a comma within a field, uh, it could very well tell our system, or actually would tell our system, to separate that field into two separate fields, and it would then get your data out of sequence for that particular record. So now that we've removed the commas and we've gotten all this information uh, corresponding to um, data fields that we ha have in our system, we're going to do a save as, file save as, and we're going to save this as a comma separated values. So it's already a .csv, so we're just going to go ahead, we want to make sure we know where we have it, so we're going to uh, make sure that it goes into our downloads. And I'm going to put the word cleaned at the end, so that we know that this is the cleaned file. We're going to go ahead and save it, and it asks to make sure that we know that we're actually saving it as a CSV. So now I'm going to come over to the account that I want to upload this into, and I'm going to click on the CRM database field, uh, go to the um, section for the CRM database, and click on Import Data Files. Now, to import the data file, we actually require that you have an access code. So we give you an access code, and then you insert or type in your name, and I'm just going to type in Lee Thurburn, and your phone number, and your email, and then we have to browse to find the file. So now I'm going to go browse to find the file on my system, and here it is, Video Export Demo Cleaned. So we're going to click that. It's now loaded in the field. We're going to click Upload File, and the file has been uploaded. It's that simple. Uh, you just need to make sure that you've cleaned your data and that you've uh, gotten rid of extraneous data fields. If you send data fields that we can't use, we'll just go ahead and use the data fields that we can. That concludes the demo on how to upload or import your member records from other sources. Um, once you have done this part, NetOffer will actually review the data and import it and upload it into your directory and then notify you when that's been done. And uh, we do that at no charge. Thank you.